Crazy little walk you just did there. Slow it down some. <laughs> Here's a fun little lick I came up with. Um, I like doing all these kind of chromatic half step slide things. It's a great way to use them as passing tones to get in and out of different licks, move throughout the positions. So we're going to start out in your first A minor pentatonic box. And we're going to play the same lick twice in a row. We're just going to move it up an octave, right? So we're going to start on this A. And then we're going to do the same lick starting on the D string on that A note, right? So your first lick. We're going to have five on the low E, and we're going to hybrid pick this. Pick finger, pick finger. Uh, the first two notes, I use a pick, and then I start using a pick finger, right? So you have five on the low E, then bend down eight on the low E string, then get A on the fifth fret, use your middle finger for that one, then get six on A and slide in to seven. Seven on the D string. I'm sorry, five on the D string. And slide in from six to seven. Alright, so that's the, the first lick. Okay, then we're gonna start on this note again and repeat that same lick. Alright, so we have seven on the D string. Bend down ten on D. Seven on G, slide in eight to nine on G. Okay, and after you slide in eight to nine on G, you're gonna get eight on the B string and slide in from nine to ten on B. Okay, so with the first two together you have. Okay, and then from there. Where then we're going to slide in from 8 to 9 on the high E string and then land 10 on the B string. Then we're going to bend up 11 on the E string just like a quarter step and then do the same thing on the 8th fret on the high E string. Okay, so you have real slow. Okay, and after you get that 8 on the E string, you're going to rake back this little triad here. You have 8 on the E string, and then get 10 on B to 11 on G, and then land 7 on the G string. Okay. Alright, so we have... on B, bend it up, and then catch 10 on the E string, and then from here, bend up with your first and second finger, just makes it faster, then we're going to bend up on 11 on the E string, like a half step, okay, and after you bend up 11, go back to the 8th fret on the high E, bend that up just a little bit, Finish it by going 10 on B to 9 on G to 8 on E back to 10 on B. All right, so so far we have. Okay, then we have this really cool lick. Your pinky on 10 on the B string. And then after you get 10 on the B string, have your index finger on 7 on B. And then we're just going to rake back uh, 7 on B, 9 on G, to 10 on D. Okay, 
that puts us in our third position of the BB box on those A and D strings. Okay, and after you rake that back to 10 on D, get 7 on D. Then we're going to bend down 9 on the A string. Then go back to 7 on D. Then bend down 10 on D. Get 7 on G. Then we're going to bend up 8 on G. And go to 5 on G, right? So you have... string have seven on a and d and just rake them back and then get your thumb on the low e on five all right so that last little part you have all right so everything together real slow you get slow all right you just gotta visualize all those little slides and everything all right so that's the whole lick it's a fun little lick um it's a great little hybrid pick and workout uh, just get a drum beat going practice slow and have fun